On June 12, 1924, two members of the Newton Boys disguised themselves as train workers and hid aboard train number 57 before it left Union Station in Chicago. As the train approached Rondau, the armed men took over the train, forcing an unscheduled stop at Buckley Road, where the rest of the gang was waiting in stolen Cadillacs. The robbers made the train crew open the third car and quickly empty out 63 specific mail sacks into the stolen cars. They sped off into the night with a total of $3 million worth of cash, bonds, and jewels, making this the largest train robbery in United States history. Police led an intense investigation that ended with several surprising results, including one shocking accomplice one of their very own. As the robbers were arrested, police were able to recover some of the stolen items from them. And from various places, they had hidden the loot, but not all of it was found. To this day, the largest question of all remains. What happened to the $1 million of the stolen loot that was never recovered? <laughs>